Hello everyone, it's Jack Cotton. I'm here inside my beautiful, luxurious, but not overly ostentatious Cape Cod office talking to you about branding through the series on branding. Is that time of the year to talk about branding? So today I want to discuss newsletters because I think there's no better way to convey your expertise and your value to the marketplace than through the use of newsletters. They bring value, they convey your expertise. You can do a hard copy or an email version. I actually like hard copy versions of um, newsletters, um, but either way is fine, just have one. You know, newsletters um, are important to convey your expertise and understand the buyers and sellers in the high end will always seek those they perceive as being experts in their field, the ones who are the most professional, the absolute qualified expert. You can convey that expertise with a newsletter. Things you can include in your newsletter are, of course, real estate articles. I mean, there's so much stuff to write about today. Interest rates, are they going up? Are they staying the same? Could they possibly go down? And what does that mean to your marketplace? Election years, what does that mean? Is there, what kind of uncertainty does that bring to the market or does it? I mean, there's just so much stuff going on that you can use to write about real estate. Um, current interest rates and trends and all the influences on your market. Are new companies moving in or are companies moving out? Are people aging and moving to bigger houses or smaller houses? I mean, what is actually happening, happening in your marketplace that you could write about in a newsletter to convey your expertise and the influence on the market? Always want to have good, clear graphics. Keep your branding, your imagery, your um, artwork consistent. Have a look for yourself as a company or an agent. Your picture, again, should be a recent one, hopefully, hopefully in the last five years. Keep the newsletter short and concise. Maybe have some summary paragraphs um, so that people don't have to read the whole thing. And remember that cute is out, professional is definitely in, especially information is in. So sales data, graphs, luxury listings, um, and again, email or hardcover delivery, that's your call, maybe a combination of the two. If you are using other people's content, don't forget to give credit and acknowledgement to them so you don't get any copyright issues and get in trouble for that. Here's what I used to do years ago. We called it water views. And I had an article about the market at the front in my younger days. We called that viewpoint. And then we had listings, previews, and then things that had sold, reviews. All cute on the way of views. Maybe that's too cute, I don't know. But anyway, just an example of what we used to do in the good old days. Anyway, that's my spiel about newsletters. If you want to ask more about them, come to luxuryrealestateunplugged.com. Go to that website, check it out, consider signing up, and I, I will see you on the first Tuesday of the month. Now, until next week, make it a great week.